Hello, and welcome to episode two of the Granite State Yarns podcast. My name is Lauren, and I'm coming to you from the great state of New Hampshire. Uh, today is Thursday, July 1st of 2021, and I'm here to talk to you about all of my knitting projects as well as the yarn that I'm dyeing. I am the dyer behind Granite State Yarns, and I like to be able to share with all of you uh, the stuff that I'm working on. So. Sorry, you can hear my kids in the background. Um, ordinarily, I would like to be um, podcasting outside, but today it's kind of dreary, and so I'm in the house. I um, might get a little bit of distraction with the kids, but hopefully it'll work out okay. Um, yeah, so you can find me on Instagram at Granite State Yarns. Uh, also, my website is www.granitestateyarns.com, and from there you can find my Etsy shop. And all right, so I guess um, let's get into talking about my current works in progress. All right, my first one is half of a finished object. It is one sock, and I knit this up in my uh, Galaxy colorway, which is on my Sparkle Sock base, which is a 75% merino, superwash merino, 20% nylon, 5% Stellina base. So it's very sparkly. Um, this is, uh, you can see, a highly variegated color. A lot of some different blues and purples and even some green here and there, a little bit of pink. Really fun colorway. So this is just a pattern that I'm kind of um, playing around with. Uh, it's not written up or anything. It's just taking a few different details um, and Mommy. combining them. Mommy. Yes, buddy. I feel better. You feel better. Oh, that's good. We had a little accident downstairs and my son, who is three, bumped his head, but he's okay. He got a little ice pack, sat down for a little bit. He'll be fine. Anyway, um, yeah, so I cast on 64 stitches. I'm using um, nine inch circulars, size zero, Chowgu nine inch circulars. Um, did a kind of a different cough up here. Okay, go sit down. <laughs> uh, then did some stockinette, a little bit of texture detail here. Eye of partridge heel, heel turn, and then all stockinette down here until I did a little bit of pearl um, pearl stitches here to give a little detail before the toe. So these came out really nice. Um, I actually really like this length. I wear um, dresses and skirts exclusively and so in the winter time I'm wearing uh, leggings and for me to have a pair of socks at this length is just right so that way it fits over the bottom of my leggings um, but doesn't go up too, too high where like the sock just seems kind of weird with everything. So that way you can still see my sock. And um, yeah, it just, it, this is just the perfect length for a sock for me, I'm finding, at least during the winter. During the summer, I like a nice shorty sock or flip flops and no socks at all. But yeah, so this is the first one. Um, yeah, so I'm doing the nine inch circular where ordinarily I do magic loop and I like the nine inch circular, but I'm still kind of in the process of learning um, how to most comfortably hold and get the get the right muscle memory. They're a little more fiddly than the magic loop that I'm used to. Um, and so I like them, but I still I haven't quite fallen in love yet. So I'm giving them a little bit more time. I think I've only knit one pair of socks with them prior I did that about a year ago. Um, so I picked them up again, wanting to give them a try. Um, we'll do the second sock in it again and see if I get any more comfortable with it. For now, I don't know, still Magic Loop Girl. Uh, even, um, I do enjoy double pointed needles occasionally too, but I don't like using those in the car. And a lot of my knitting right now has been in the car because of, I have a a three month old baby. And so while I can knit with her in my lap and I do all the time, um, most of my, like the big bulk of my knitting time is in the car. And for that, I prefer just having the circular needles. So that's why I haven't been doing a whole lot of double pointed needles lately. Okay, so my other work in progress is one I just started today. This is another sock. 
And this is just a shorty that I'm working on. So I've got the cuff so far, which I'm doing a knit three pearl one cuff, which I've never done that as a cuff before. And I really kind of like it. So that's been kind of fun to do something a little bit different here. So you can see, I just did 15 rows and then five rows of stockinette for the leg length. And then I'm starting another eye of partridge heel flap over here. And this yarn is Hypno the Hypnotic Yarns Yarnable Colorway Wildflowers. This was the June colorway. Here's the tag. And then here's the yarn all caked up. I talked about this last week. My last podcast, my first podcast. So this is a really, really pretty, pretty color. Really liking how it's kind of pooling up here. So yeah. So this just has a little baby sock. I mean, not for a baby. It's again, 64 stitches. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one. Maybe I'll give it to my daughter who also wears 64 stitches. But yeah, so far, um, I really like this. I really like this base. It's a uh, plush sock and definitely is very, very plush. Really soft and squishy. I really like it. Okay. And then I have another work in progress here. This is a shawl that I started, goodness, probably a month or two ago and haven't really been giving it much attention. Making this out of Mandy's Makings. This um, main color here, the pink, is her, let's see, Party in the Vineyard colorway. Picked this up a little while ago. Really nice, bright pink, super pretty. And then I'm using her, um, let's see, it was the Lucky Charms sock set here. I have three of the colorways still left on here. And then these two are the ones that I've been knitting with so far. So you see up here, I used kind of that um, red and yellow on these first two stripes. And then this speckly, it's more, a little more blue and green down here. So I've got some baubles. I've got some eyelets. This is a, gonna be a crescent shawl. I don't know if I can, it's, might be able to see kind of how it'll work. Cause it's not too long, but see how, because you're increasing so much along the edge, it'll kind of start to curl. It's really fun. So yeah, I'm working on this pattern, kind of designing it as I go along, um, writing everything up. And perhaps if we'll see, I might um, release it as a pattern if anybody is interested in it. It's you know rel relatively simple. The baubles are not very difficult to do, but add a nice little detail to it. So I'm really liking this. It's been a lot, it's been very enjoyable to work on. I just haven't had a whole lot of time to focus on it and do the, the thinking and the math and, and writing everything down in my notebook. Again, especially with, with the kids around, um, things have been a little bit tricky with a newborn. So it's taking a little bit longer to get things done that I want to, but that's all right. <laughs> I still love her. All right, so I'm using Knit Picks Prism Aluminum Needles here. These are size six, the four millimeter. On a mismatched cord here, I believe the Prism usually comes with the black cords, but I had some green ones available and that's what I used. So just gonna go with it. <laughs> Even though it looks a little funky with the blue and the green, that's okay. Yeah, so I'm working on that. Still got quite a ways to go. And then over here, I have one more sock project that I almost forgot about. This is actually a crocheted sock. My very first crocheted sock. There we go, up here. And this is done in Knit Picks Glimmer, the, the Stroll Glimmer. This is just the um, undyed Stroll Glimmer down here. And then over here is a Sock Labs colorway from um, I think the spring, no, maybe it was more closer to winter. I don't remember the name of it and I don't think I have the label over here. But um, it's, it's, I don't think they have it available anyway. 
but it was actually a um, Nipix stroll with some sparkle in it. So it's really nice. So this pattern is from Citri & Co. Um, Allison over there writes the most incredible patterns. Like they are, she's got pictures and all of this explanation and they're like pages and pages long, all of this information, which, you know, if you're like me and I've, I've always knit, I've always knit socks and so then move into the crocheted socks. It's, it is kind of a different thing. And then not only is it crocheted, but it's also toe up. And I've, I've only knit, I think one pair of toe up socks. Usually I always do cuff down. So it's, it's thinking in a completely different way and then using crochet, which is um, quite a bit different from, from knitting. Uh, obviously it's not, you know, you're still making the same shapes. It's not that, that different, but you know, it's a different, it's a different kind of mental thing. And it's been really fun to kind of try to do something completely different. So anyway, her pattern is very detailed, explains everything as you go along. Um, and I've been really enjoying it. I haven't really worked on it too much in the last few weeks, but um, I'd really like to put this more priority because um, I'm really enjoying it. It's making a really squishy sock um, and it's so far, I mean, it's only the bottom of my foot, but you know, um, it's fitting really well so far. Just the way that she has that pattern written, it, you're, you're fitting the sock to your foot as you go along. So it, as opposed to like measuring along the way. Um, so right about now I'm about ready to start shaping for the heel. And so that's why it's kind of been on hold just to have to sit down and now learn how to get to that process. So I'll link down below uh, the information about her shop and this pattern. I believe it's the classic sock if I'm remembering correctly. And again, that's Stitchery & Co. So super fun. Okay, so that's all, those are all my current projects. And I thought now I would do a little bit of talking about a couple of colorways that I added into the shop. So first I have my Berry Pickin color. I just put this in the shop earlier this week. Dyed it up um, last week on Saturday actually. So this color is, it was actually, I was trying to replicate a color that I had done um, a couple months ago and I don't know what was different but it came out significantly darker than what I had done before. And so I figured, okay, well, I guess, you know, that's just what the dye wanted to do. Maybe the pH was off or maybe I mismeasured something. I don't know, but it came out incredible in its own way. So I'm like, well, we're just going to go with it. We'll name it something different. So this is berry picking and it reminded me a lot of, um, like, baking blueberry pie when you have like those bright, bright blueberries and then as you cook them, the, the color darkens into this sort of color. So this reminded me very much of, of baking a pie. So that's where that name come, came from. So it's got um, quite a bit of different color here. There's some nice dark kind of cranberry colors and blues and pinks and some cream, some speckling. It's super pretty, super, super pretty. I'm really happy with how this one came out. So I've got quite a few of these up in the shop right now. So if you're interested, go check it out. And then over here is my ever popular Stargazer Lily set. Um, this one has been kind of my breakout star. Um, I've been just blown away with how many people are just really truly falling in love with this. Um, so yeah, um, you get a hundred gram skein of my Granite State sock base, which is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And I also add in this green apple um, mini skein, it's 20 grams to, to go along with it. Actually, I used this yarn to design my, or one of the, the yarns that I used to design my Arethusa Falls pattern. So if you look at that pattern online, you'll see it knit this, this yarn knit up. Um, yeah, it's really, really pretty. It's got some green, some kind of like an apple-y green down here, a little bit of cream, and then the pink speckles. So yeah, super nice. Okay, 
So I guess that's it for the works in progress and the yarn for today. So um, I guess I can give you a bit of an update on what's been going on in my life around here. Um, my two oldest daughters are actually away at camp this week. They're, um, it's a sleepaway camp. They're about an hour, hour and a half away. And so it's been very different around here without having them home. I just have my five youngest <laughs> and my uh, two, my two big girls for this week have been extremely helpful with uh, the little guys. I do have, um, let's see, my oldest is 12 and then a 10 year old. So they're the ones that are off at camp. And then I have an eight year old, an almost six year old, a three year old, a um, almost two year old, and a three month old. And you can hear a few of them over there, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so it's pretty wild over here and with the weather being as hot as it was earlier this week we've been spending a lot of time in the house instead of being outside because it's just been oppressively you know 97 degrees and humid outside and then of course today while it's cooler it's raining so we've been spending a lot of time in the house it's been a little wild and crazy but um that's all part of the fun and it's been nice to spend some time a little more concentrated with my younger kids uh, I don't know how the big kids are doing up at camp. Um, they would have had the same weather as us. Hot, humid, we had thunderstorms yesterday. I'm really curious to see how it's all working out for them. I, I know that they're having a blast. I know they're having the time of their lives. They're, they have a bunch of friends there too. So um, I know it's just been exciting. And I'm looking forward to seeing them again on Saturday so we can talk about all the stuff and adventures that they've had. My son is over here walking in front of the camera. Um, so yeah, I guess that's the the big update for what's been happening over here. I am super excited to be um, podcasting again here. Sorry, just got a notification on my phone. And I'm looking forward to being back talking with all of you guys next week. All right. So I hope you all have a lovely day, a lovely weekend coming up. Happy 4th of July, and I will see you again real soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.